What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, because today, yes, I'm just addicted to our free-to-play account. You're probably going to get one to two episodes daily as we progress this account. One of the things I really want to try doing, though, is trying out our Jara in more game mode. So, here's what we're going to start off doing here. We're going to steal this Rui Scepter, we're going to chuck it over onto you. Uh, we have attack speed, that's fine. All these things are kind of good to go. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're just going to try to see what we can do with our existing heroes and tenants and all this stuff to see if we can make any type of progression whatsoever uh, on this account in Shadow Sealand. So we've got a few other heroes here in the Shadow Faction that can be of help. Uh, we can even give a Demon Bell over here. We can give a upgraded Demon Bell here so that maybe they can even feed some energy. Now the problem is we don't really have any other heroes to go with this team. So what we're gonna do is just chuck in a couple of Ice Trolls here. Maybe they can do something for us and uh, yeah, just get us some, some actives and stuff maybe get some cc off but again we are in 21 plus so i'm highly doubting it's possible uh we're not going to be changing and investing all of our soul awakening stuff either we're just going to see if we can make more progress because that can be more chests and more resources for our cloud island so fingers crossed this actually ends up working out pretty cool uh is it doubtful yeah probably pretty doubtful here we're gonna throw our team in like this and then we need to find our couple of ice trolls we made up and throw in the phoenix i think it looks good to go like yeah she's only d plus copy but she is v4 and we do have some v3 plus tenants for other heroes that might actually end up being good so we'll see how this turns out now we do need to get some cc off we also have some demon bell energy feeding going on so that potentially this jar oh my god this jara we got twined <laughs> <laughs> the Eloise is still pretty strong overall. If we can just CC the enemy, yeah, that is absolutely what we needed to see here. And uh, Eloise, again, is the strong carry when it comes to Sealand. So if we can make a little bit more progress, that would be pretty sweet right here. Round one active would be nice, but again, not really necessary. Ankirimaru lives just long enough. Maybe we should put him in the back row, though, just so we can get more actives off. Might be the smart play here. Again, we need more actives so that Jara builds up more energy and has a higher percent chance to CC the enemies. I mean, the Annabelle's pretty sweet as well. Good lord. Eloise just carrying stuff as always. Uh, I do think I'm going to put you in the back row. That way, maybe he gets an additional active off here and there, and that would be pretty sweet. I wonder if we should just make another Demon Bell up to Splendid. And that way we have like a triple feed. Good lord. She's getting CC'd every single time. I didn't really look yeah okay we have control purify that's good that is good and continuing to get more cc off is good her damage is still pretty significant too which is nice to see and uh yeah eloise looks like she's gonna finish this out pretty easily here for us I say that and then she almost dies <laughs> let's go can we get the boss wave done if we can get a few of these difficulties done that would be amazing because that's just more cloud island resources to pump into our star swordsman mockman just oh wow was that a cc it's kind of counterintuitive though because like you want to counter attack with eloise for damage but like it might be it might have been just enough so that we can actually get the kill i think yeah the fairy guard that's what i remember now the fairy guard is brutal going up with the eloise she just suffers so much against fairy guard those seeds are so annoying here Yeah, Jara, I was like, maybe Jara could run like Balance Strike as well, but this, there's just so many dots here. Um, what we need to do is we need to make sure we really split our... Oh, no, the Fairy Guard. Yep, the second the Fairy Guard comes in, I like my butt puckers. <laughs> my butt goes, oh, no. Yeah, the fact that they put dots out when you hit them is just so annoying. And having like multiple seeds is annoying too. Oh, there's no way for Jara to be slower than our other two heroes, right? I think so. I think the other two heroes would need to have like speed stones. 2059. Even if we changed her over to something like this. I mean, because we got the Rui Scepter and a 20, 2019, like 
We took this off. We get 1904. There's no way they come close to that, right? Yeah, they're just nowhere near that capability. Although we can see if we don't need the speed here. We are in the early Shadow Sea Land levels, so you don't need as much speed as the later ones. No, it looks like our whole team goes after. Which kind of sucks because now they get to go, they get to go, they get to go. I mean, it might work out better though, honestly. We really weaken that whole team and we don't have an active in the fairy guard, which is good. Like really good. Oh God, we still almost died. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> slowing down the Jara was literally the answer so that we could CC them after we did our damage with the Eloise. That's kind of interesting. I like it. Annabelle's little Dread Puppet, not the worst thing in the world either. It gives some healing up. It changes their actives into things that aren't going to kill us, which I enjoy too. And again, it's just more Cloud Island resources for every Sea Land difficulty that we beat. Now, oh my goodness, that was brutal. That fairy guard is, if only there was some way to remove fairy guard in this game, it would be so nice. But I'm, I'm really enjoying the decision of going with the Jara on this account, honestly. I really, really am. Uh, now in this case, I think we might want to go before the enemy. So let's, again, swap some stuff up. Let's switch you back to speed attack. And I think that'll be enough to... Go before them. So at least in round two, we can freeze them up. Yeah, we can freeze them up before they put the fairy guard out with their active. At least I think it's their active that does it. Maybe not. I feel like it is. I don't know. It could just be end of round type stuff. Uh, either way, we just get so much CC coming at our faces. We'll do, let's do five more attempts on this account just to see if we can make any more progress. If we can't, we won't worry about it for the time being. It would be nice if we could ever get like this on Kirimaru revived. <laughs> that would be amazing. Uh, our Eloise is literally just getting chain CC'd because she literally has like two to three sieves on her at any time. So even if she purifies the CC, she's just getting bricked in the face. Um, make sure she has the right setup. Yeah, she has control purify. Same with Eloise. Control purify. Yep. All those things look correct. The question is, can we actually get another clear? And the answer, I think, is going to be no. Yeah, it's just that twine. If we don't get twined, we have a good chance of winning. But the second they get us twined, like, it's just downhill from there. I don't think she lives through that. Yeah, the, the damage is just too much. The damage is just too much. <laughs> oh, my God. The CC is brutal. I wonder if it would be better running her with like an A and B or something that gives her more survivability. I don't know. That is an option we could try like tomorrow if we want to, but I think I'll be happy with just at least one additional sea land cleared out to 22, which means again, just more resources. Oh my God. Twine is so annoying. So, so annoying. And then the dots just, well, actually the dots didn't kill her. Oh, wait, 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 hold on, wait a minute. We just got the clear. <laughs> oh my God, Jari came out of nowhere. I do, however, want to check our guild tech real quick. Warriors done, mage. Oh yeah, we had been investing in priests, but we need to now invest their stuffs in, uh, in the mages stuff. You have to 14, 15% or 14% wine immunity. Yeah, we were going all in on Priest. That was a mistake. We could always reset it and get it over to Mage now. Uh, let's just keep going, see what we can get with our clears. If we can keep pushing easily, we'll do it. If we can't, we'll just call it a day. Already feels pretty successful getting us some resources. One of these days, we'll have our Ankiri Maro revive, but the way he revives is just the stupidest thing I've ever seen in a game, like legit. <laughs> oh, we got Twine. That's not good. She's probably going to die to all those poison stacks. Yeah, there's so much poison on this one. You know what? I'm not going to use any more gems. We'll hold off. We got 22 done, and that is awesome because what that means is between all the things we got going on here, we got these chests as well. That means we can do a few more upgrades to our Star Swordsman Machina, which can make a big difference. Um, 
Wow, we actually need master toolboxes now. That that is surprising. I actually did not see that coming. So the next grind on our free to play is not star spawn. It's not any of those things. It is literally wow. We just we powered through those master toolboxes, and we're gonna need more. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Uh, pretty good clear, I'd say so. And I'll see you guys next time.